Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and you're watching Disney Channel. Um. This is fun. <laughs> I'm having fun already. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my Okay, wait, is she <laughs> kind of sorry, like me? Hey guys, <laughs> For those of you who are new and are not yet subscribed, hello, welcome. My name is Tyler with an O. And for those of you who are already my people, already subscribed and are coming to join us for another video, thank you. We are glad to have you back. Let's address the elephant in the room. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bestest best friend. Her name is Nicole, and she's finally making her YouTube debut here on my channel. Woo! So I'm going to be testing her on her knowledge of gay lingo. There's a lot of common phrases amongst the gay community, the black gay community, just the community um, that the boys and girls and the children use frequently. Um, sometimes I use some of these phrases with her, so I do feel like she's going to do pretty good at it, but then there are some things that I don't even think I say around her. Anyways, I think it's going to be exciting to see a heterosexual woman's perspective <laughs> on what these words might be. Okay, so we're gonna start off easy. All right. Explain the difference between a top, bottom, and a verse. <laughs> oh, my favorite. <laughs> okay, so a top is a homosexual male who only engages. No. It doesn't have to okay, be a okay, okay, male. Okay, 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 okay. They are a male. They don't have to be a male either. They are a person who is on the, the penetrating end. Okay. Okay. So this will make more sense when I explain what a bottom is. A bottom is the one that only receives. Okay. Okay. Um, if you are a verse, you are versatile. Mm. So you can play it up. Okay. Yeah? So you do a little bit of both. Yes. Okay. Did I get that right? Uh, yeah, you did. You got that very right. Other um, people. Part two of that question. Then what is a power bottom? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> is a person that um, only receives. So that's just a, a full bottom. True. So if you're a power bottom, then you are really given the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my man Colin is a power bottom. I'm just like. <laughs> Okay, so kind of. I thought I knew, but I guess I don't. Okay, but I know in conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> a power bottom is someone, is a bottom who likes to take in large quantities, we'll say. So they just really like their shit. What walls? Exactly. What do you identify as? Are you top, bottom, power bottom? <laughs> next question. All right. Next. <laughs> what is trade? So trade is, is a, a homosexual male, uh, yes, but his T is on the down low. Oh, his T! Oh. So if you're in a room and you're surveying the scene, um, this one is, is hard to clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check, check. Okay. So you won't be able to find out just by the way they dress. Yeah, you can't judge a book by its cover. Right, which it's is how great. some people usually would be able to clock others. Yes. Okay, so she knows what clocking is. All right. <laughs> Can you distinguish? Now, this is a good one. And I'm just going to say this as a side note. No offense, but women are known for appropriating this lingo, lingo and using it very incorrectly, and it's very annoying. So let this also be a learning experience for some of you watching who like to use the language and don't know what the fuck you talk about. <laughs> so can you differentiate between shade and a read? Oh, okay, yes. The act of throwing shade means if we're in a, a group setting and we're having a conversation, you are subtly talking shit, but disguising it to where it's appealing to the ears. Not as appealing, but it doesn't come off as harsh. Yeah, it's, it's um, subtle. Yeah, you're being shady. Yeah. It's subtle, yeah. um, subtle offense. Yes. So and let's read it. A, a read, when you read somebody fulfilled, <laughs> um, you are 
basically you're you're putting somebody in their place. You're you're letting them know what it really is. Help me out. Okay. Um. Yes and no, actually, <laughs> because I think your definition for read is more like that's getting somebody together. Yeah. Or that's um that's you can say clocking somebody. Like I'm yeah. I I you need to be clocked or like yeah. you're checking somebody. You're putting them in their place. A read, and the reason why it's compared to shade is because shade is like suggested, and so mm -hmm. so I can just be like, oh, you know, Nicole has a face only a mother can love. Like, you know, I'm being shady by like you know suggesting something. Where if I were to just come out and be like, bitch, you're ugly, that's a read. <laughs> like a read is like direct insult, direct okay. impact. So okay. shade, you know, is shady. Like, oh, did they offend me, or, or are they not? Like, did they come for me? But then a read, when I read you. I'm like reading you like a book from like front to back, like bitch, I'm going down the line and your hair, your face, your clothes, your shoes, I've just read you for Phil. Mm -hmm. Like you're dragging them, which is another one. Yes. <laughs> a read can just be like an isolated insult, but mm -hmm. when you drag somebody, you're you let that bitch have off it. Nothing's off-limits. Exactly. You are going for their whole life. Exactly. What does it mean to pay it for, <laughs> for something to be paid? I've heard you use this in conversation before, so like, ah, uh, to pay it. Oh, and by the way, you have two times that you can ask me to use it in a sentence. Okay. As like a lifeline. <laughs> two times like during this whole video. Yeah. Oh lord. Honestly, I'm not even gonna try to attempt because I'm gonna sound silly. You guys are gonna come for me. You wanna use it in a sentence? Yeah, use it in a sentence. Okay, so we're gonna use one sentence. I went to the club the other day and they wouldn't let, let me in. So I paid it and I left. Or, okay. she's coming for you, like, she wanna fight, but just pay it, it's not even worth it. I think, from the e example you gave, it's just all, like, understand and acknowledge, you know, like... You're going a little too deep. <laughs> okay, so the best way I can explain it, think of it as a, t a traffic ticket. So you get a speeding ticket, you have the option, you can go to court, you can fight it, you can, you know, give it effort, give it life, <laughs> or you can just pay it and be done with it. Uh -huh. So like, it's paid, like, uh -huh. I paid it, I'm not even gonna fight with you. Uh -huh. Basically, you, it means like, just pay it dust. Oh, okay, So okay. it's like, they trying to start shit with me, I paid it, cause they're not worth, they're not worth my dust, uh -huh. I paid it. Okay. So yeah. That's one of the least common ones I hear. Mm -hmm. What is a mug? A mug is your face. Okay. So with that being said, actually these don't, okay, I think you might associate the two, <laughs> but um, what does it mean to paint? Uh. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what you think this is. Okay, to paint? Mm-hmm. So it's a verb? It is. Okay. Paint the town red. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I really don't know. Okay, so, um, cover your ears, children. Okay, let me use it in a sentence so you might catch okay, it. Okay, okay. Like, oh my god, girl, I'm so embarrassed. I had to trade over last night and I painted. <laughs> I painted him. Okay, you were speaking from the bottom. Yes. Oh no. I was so embarrassed, girl. It was everywhere. This is nasty. I painted him. This means that, like, okay, I hope <laughs> you guys know where this is going because, you know. Mm hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Do y'all know? <laughs> Please. If you don't know, really, you can put it in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll reply directly to you. <laughs> so we'll be moving, but you, you catch the Yes, disc? yes, yes. Okay, she, yes. she gets it. She gets it. What does boots mean? <laughs> And I'd like you to use it in a sentence. This is the one that I regard, like, disregard the most. Because it's just like, I think I hear it so many times that I just give up on, like, okay, I don't know what it means. I would just remember you using with such emphasis. You'd be like, boots. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I really don't know. <laughs> okay, so boots is like, I don't even know what part of speech it would be in, and I'll go ahead and use it in a sentence. Oh my god, I hate Cheryl. She always talking shit. Like, she is shady boots. Like. So it's like saying, like, as fuck. Like, yeah, okay, okay, like, like for real. Like, yeah, like, like she's hella shady. Yeah, she's okay, shady okay. boots. But is it boots because, like, that person is in the boots, therefore she is wearing it? She is walking in, she's about, she's in that life. I don't know the origin of that. I don't understand it. I know how to use it, but I don't even know oh. where that came from. Okay. But yeah, so that's boots. That's a unique one. I love that one though. <laughs> um, what is fish? <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a, it's a woman. So it's used when like... I mean, that's, it's a woman. It's like, um, when a gay man is like 
oh, you know, and I was looking real fish. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was looking real. I was serving woman, you know, like. Fishy, yeah. Yes, so basically woman. like fish is, is the term for women, real women. So like a, uh -huh. a real woman is fish. Mm -hmm. So therefore if a gay or a drag queen is like serving fish or they're being fishy, they're being womanly. They're channeling like they're, that they're, they're giving woman, like you might think that they're a woman because mm -hmm. they're serving fish. What is a try? So a try is to like, you know, like, like how you said you, she tried it. Mm -hmm. Like the audacity, you know, like the nerve. Like she, it's a try. Like that, that, that's a try. They, they thought I was coming in for work at 3 a.m. That's a try. Like uh -huh. that she was a whole it. try. Right. She tried it. So yeah, you know, like the nerve of them to. Like a, 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 it's an attempt. Like right. a failed attempt. Right. A failed attempt. Right. Not a good attempt. Yes. A successful one. It was a try. Mm -hmm. Like mm -mm. what does it mean to pump it? Pump it, pump it. I've never heard of this. I've never heard it used. You've probably heard me say, I think you've heard me to say it pump, before. Mm, I don't know. I mean, this one's very simple Impressive. and I'll just use it in a sentence. <laughs> um, <laughs> hurry up and go pee because we gotta pump it on down to the store before they close. Like, like we gotta go, out. like yeah. we gotta let's pump go. it, let's hit go. the road. Or like sometimes you pump. say like, let's hit it, like we gotta hit it, to the hit it to the store. What does it mean to be late? Not in the sense like, oh, you were scheduled to be at here at three and you <laughs> were tardy. here at 3.30, like not relating to tardiness, but like you're late, like you're slow, you know, like not slow, but um. Late can mean like just distasteful or in poor taste or, or just like lame. That's the uh -huh. best way to put okay. it, lame. Because like sometimes things terms. people can say is late like you try to like if I read you and then you come back with a <laughs> shitty insult like something that's like stupid it's like okay girl that insult was late like that didn't even offend me that was stupid <laughs> what are tens tens mm -hmm. t-e-n-s yes tens. like tens across the board oh okay oh that helps yeah um I that one <clears throat> you are serving you know you are just like <laughs> you did it well yes yeah yes. you got your tens uh -huh. mm -hmm. so like yeah but can you use that in any other phrase like Aside from tens across the board, like, and you just said you got your tens, like, yeah, oh. you should say that, like, oh, okay. she's, or like, if you know, we're watching a performance and they're like killing it, like, oh, she's coming for her tens, like, she's getting her tens, oh, okay. like, or you know, you trying on clothes and be like, yes, tens, like that, <laughs> tens across the board. So, what does it mean? And this is gonna be this is the last one I have listed, there are plenty more, oh. but I think we're gonna wrap it all up. So, yeah, yeah, this is the last one. Um, what does it mean to turn it? Y'all probably watching this video and you're shouting at the screen, oh my god, I know, I know! I don't know. Um, to turn it? Yeah. <clears throat> I used up all my turns. To turn it. This, this one's actually kind of easy too. If you knew the extended version. Turn it out. Turn it out? Okay, so if, <laughs> if I'm rolling with that. Uh, to turn it, to turn him. Oh, so you're going like, oh, you're turning a person out. I, well, that's what I thought oh. you were hinting at. <laughs> no, I was just saying like to turn it out, like we turn this party out, like we turned oh, it. Oh, okay, like, like it's like if you use it in a sense, you... Like you killed it. Right, you yeah. slayed it, you turned it, it girl. Live. Even like you can turn an outfit like, ooh, I thought those pants were going to be ugly, but you turned it, like you made yeah, it, you made it good. Or like you killed a dance or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I think you did pretty good. You know, at least a B. I'm pretty. Yeah, at least a B. At I think you. I think it was a B. I. I we should have kept track of like how many you got, how many yeah. you didn't get. But no, you were pretty good. So hopefully you guys learned something here today. Um, hopefully you found this interesting, entertaining, informative, or both. Actually, that was three things. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. If you like my best friend. If you like me. If you like my ass shadow. Definitely go ahead and comment down below. If you have any more terms, maybe we can do like a part two mm -hmm. because there's a lot of terminology out there. Mm -hmm. There is, honestly, mm -hmm. truly. Or if there's something that you hear often and you don't quite understand, leave a comment below and you know. Yeah, ask me, I'll answer. Good response. I reply to my comments now. I don't know if you've seen all my other videos, but you very know, active. I engage. Um, but yeah, that's all they that's that's all she wrote. So yes. thank you once again for joining us for this video. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the no goodness. <laughs> and I will see you all on our next video. Peace. What is her category? Face. Butch schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> Does that exist? No. <laughs>